A few months ago, I created a video showing you how to install a battery tender quick disconnect to your bike, which basically eliminates the hassle of having to disassemble parts of your motorcycle every time you need access to the battery terminals. Well today, I am going to cover three battery tender products that attach to that quick disconnect. Okay, so to pick up a little bit from where we left off on the last video when we installed the quick disconnect, just want to show you that normally I keep it tucked under the seat as I mentioned before and you can see it has a protective cap on there that you just simply remove uh, when you go to use it. Now that we have this out and ready to go, let's talk about the probably the primary reason why we would want to install this in the first place, which is so we can charge the battery. So we will start with the battery charger first. So here is the battery charger and this one is the Battery Tender Junior. And as you can see, it is 750 milliamps. Battery Tender does make more powerful ones if you feel the need to get one of those. Uh, but for me, this one is working just fine uh, for my purposes. On the side, you will see, and I'm not sure how well you can see that, but I will put a better uh, graphic on the screen. But basically, it will show you what the indicator lights uh, will show on the front as you plug it in and there is the light. So you will see that in a minute when we go to plug this in. This is about as easy as it gets as far as using this. So all you have to do is take the other end of the charger, because this is it, uh, take the other end and plug it into your quick disconnect. And there's only one way it can go, by the way. And that's that. So once you have it plugged in, all you need to do now is to plug it into an outlet. So let's do that. And you will see the lights change and basically red means it's charging and green means it is charging but the battery level is above 80 percent. So in other words it doesn't have far to go. And then once it is completely charged, the light will show steady green. So at that point, you're free to disconnect it if, uh, if you feel you need to. Um, but depending on if it's long-term storage, you may just simply leave it in all the time. And you will see those uh, colors change basically from flashing green to steady green the whole time you have it plugged in because as long as this is plugged in, there is no way it's actually going to go below 80%. And I can tell you that it worked fine because uh, over the holidays, I left for three weeks and I just left it plugged in the whole time. Came home, it showed steady green. I unplugged it and the bike fired right up. So uh, I've used it several times uh, when there have been weeks when I haven't been able to get out due to weather and I have kept it charged the whole time uh, by using this. So, so far I'm pretty satisfied with this. But that's all there is to it. Like I said, this is about as easy as it gets. Uh, it's totally automatic. You don't have to worry about leaving it plugged in all the time uh, because it will shut off and stop charging uh, when, when necessary. All right, so let's move on to something else. Okay, the next product that I am going to show you is the USB accessory. And as you can see, there's not much to it. And if you open up the end cap, there is the USB connection. This is a pretty handy accessory uh, for those bikes that do not have a USB port. And my bike does not have a USB port. Uh, it's no secret which bike I am talking about. Uh, slight hint. Anyway. Um, for those of you that may need a connection while you're out and about to charge your phone or any other device, uh, this would just simply plug right into the quick disconnect and you then have a USB connection. So let's just give it a go. So I'll go ahead and open the cap, have that ready. And again, there's only one way that it can go. Just plug that in. 
I already have my phone plugged into my cable, my lightning connection. And I will just plug it in and you should be able to hear my phone chirp when it begins charging. Hopefully you heard that. So it is definitely working. So again, this is pretty handy for those bikes that do not have a USB and you need to charge your phone while you're out and about. So particularly on long rides where you are going to uh, run down your phone. So anyway, that was the second product that I wanted to show you. I will disconnect this and then we will move on to the third product. Okay, the third product is a voltage indicator. And as you can see, it's about the same size as the USB adapter. Not much to it. And the purpose for the indicator, in my opinion, is mostly from a troubleshooting point of view. Again, because it is such a hassle to get to the battery and to get to the battery terminals, if you needed to do any type of troubleshooting to measure your voltage on the battery and your voltage while the motorcycle is running, to determine whether or not your charging system is working. This eliminates the hassle of having to get access to that because you just simply plug it in and I will show you right now. And hopefully you can see that on the screen but it is showing 12.7 volts. I'll keep changing the angles in case there's a glare. Uh, but if not, you'll just have to take my word for it. It's showing 12.7 volts and it has a green light. Now, according to the instructions that came with it, it automatically times out, so you yeah, have to push the button to get it back on. According to the instructions that came with it, um, if it's the green light is on, which is obviously good, that means the battery is charged greater than 12 volts. And if the light happens to be yellow, that's telling you that the battery is low, which is from 11.6 to 12 volts. And if it's red, that means the battery is discharged and is less than 11.6 volts. So this is a pretty handy gadget to show you exactly what's going on with your battery. So uh, you can just plug this in, know whether or not your battery is good or not, and at the same time, you can determine if your uh, charging system is working as well. I will turn the bike on and let's see what happens to the voltage. There it dipped for a little bit down to 12.2 because there's a load on the battery right now with the ignition on. As we start it up the voltage should increase. And it's 13.8, I don't, 13.9. I'll rev it up just a little bit, see if that does anything. Fourteen. It was 13.9 or 14 volts while it was running, uh, which tells me that the charging system is working fine. So I don't have any issues. Again, this would mostly be handy for uh, troubleshooting when you do encounter problems. So if your, uh, your bike's not turning over, um, first thing you can do is check your battery level. And then uh, if you do get your bike to start eventually, um, you can uh, determine whether or not uh, the battery itself is just old and needs replaced, or if maybe you have a, a charging problem. Now, of course, when you do have this connected, um, you do have access to the battery terminals, so you don't necessarily need this accessory. It's handy, but this is something you wouldn't necessarily need. Uh, but it, easy to, it is easy to simply just plug in and let you know what's going on. Because you have this quick disconnect installed, you have access to both battery terminals right here. So if you have a multimeter, you can just put the leads on each one of these connections and measure what's going on that way. And to help you out, I don't know if you can see that, um, if not you'll just have to take my word for it, uh, the exposed connector is the negative and the other one underneath here is positive. So that's uh, particularly important if you are connecting an older analog meter. Most of today's digital multimeters uh, 
can account for reversed polarity and you won't damage the unit. If you get the polarity backwards, uh, it could be harmful to an analog meter. But anyway, uh, this, again, as we've explained earlier, gives you access to it. So uh, whether or not this is something that you would uh, find uh, more useful uh, than a multimeter, um, or if you don't have a multimeter and you just want this uh, device, this may be helpful for you. Uh, but that's all there is to this. It's really as simple as it looks. That's all I have for these three battery tender products. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. See you next time.